Oh, I hope I don't swear during this, but I've just read something that has really annoyed me. Um, it's old news as well. I don't know how I haven't picked this up. It was March the 14th. US troops in European exercises. Okay. We've got that. And this is the next one. Right. Get a load of this. The US Army says it will soon be sending armoured striker vehicles on a 1,100 mile convoy through six European countries to show solidarity to allies in the wake of recent Russian actions in the Ukraine and Crimea that have Eastern, that have Eastern Europe on edge. They caused it. They've started. And they're. Ah. Oh, it's so annoying that nobody can see this. And to have them flaunting their bloody military equipment all through my backyard. It's not on, America. Go home. You're not wanted in Europe. All you've done is come over here. You've trounced U Ukraine with Soros, Newland, Rice, Biden, and now you're sending a load of military equipment right through my garden. Well, don't think I'm going to be out there waving a little flag. I'd be really surprised, actually, what turnout you get. And this is sort of about sabre rattling. This is the biggest sabre rattle ever. You've got a, a military convoy running through Europe as a solidarity exercise you're not wanted go away you know the more I think about this EU army God help us talk about the devil in the deep blue sea deep the more I think about this EU army the more I think it's a good idea to get you right out of Europe I think Germany and France have got the right ideas. Of course, Poland and UK won't have the same ideas because they're backed all the way. Why? The Americans. It's not the American people either. I mean, don't think I'm having a go at American people. It's not. It's not even the American government. That's been taken over. I feel in a way sorry for Obama. I don't think he knew what was going on in Ukraine. And I've bad-mouthed him a lot. And probably a little bit unjustified. I think he's a puppet. He doesn't... He's not told what's going on on a daily basis. You've got Newland, who's probably a Soros, who's pulling all the strings. It's very, very sad to see America go like this. I used to love America when I was a kid. In the 60s and 70s. And America was great. It was flags and big old cars and petrol and rockets. And it seems as though everybody over there was sort of like. I, I don't know, it was a, a go for it country, and now it's just. It's, it's become the world police. It, we do whatever America tells us to. I've just had enough of it. It's not England anymore. As I said, I'd fight for my country tooth and now. I'm English, Irish, English. But, um, I'm not going to fight for a bank. And that's all that you do these days. If you're called up for a war, you're not fighting for c Queen or Crown and Country or your President or whatever. Or the country. You are fighting for the new world order, you're part of that little plan you're just putting on a uniform, you're cannon fodder nobody cares so anyway I'll, I'll carry on with this story right here we go, this is from uh, the CIA network CNN the convoy is a highly visible demonstration of US commitment to its NATO allies and demonstrating NATO's ability to move military forces freely across allied borders in close cooperation, US Army Europe spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Craig Child said in a statement according to the Stripes report. <laughs> the trip
Troops and the vehicles involved will be moving from training exercises conducted as part of Operation Atlantic Resolve in Estonia, Lithuania and Poland, the report said. They'll move through Latvia and the Czech Republic as they make their way to Vilsek, Germany, about a 40 mile miles drive from the Czech border. The troops involved from the 3rd Squadron 2nd Cavalry Regiment, which are based at Rose Barracks in Vilsek, and they will be accompanied by the Army's 12th Combat Aviation Brigade. Won't they be flying? Which will provide, oh, that aerial reconnaissance, the Stripes report said, just in case any of those horrible Russians blow them up, I suppose. The move is unusual because long-distance movement of heavy military vehicles such as 18-ton strikers is usually done by rail. <laughs> the trek is being called a Dragoon Ride, after the units nicknamed the Dragoons. The troops will be camped out along the route. Oh my god, this is... This is war! This is outrageous! For those participating in it, Dragoon Ride is a unique opportunity. Stripes quoted Childs as saying, Soldiers and their leaders will have numerous opportunities to engage with local communities along the route and get eggs thrown at them. Custard pies. Um, deepen their appreciation for the cultural diversity <laughs> within the Alliance <laughs> and enhance the relationships that are essential to building and maintaining mutual admiration, <laughs> respect and trust among Allied militaries. The convoy will be the latest in a series of displays the US and NATO Allies have taken under Operation Atlantic Resolve during which the US is demonstrating its continued commitment to collectively to collective security through a series of actions designed to reassure NATO allies and partners of America's dedication to enduring peace and stability in the region. God, you let them into a region and that's the last thing they do is peace and stability in light of the Russian intervention in Ukraine, according to the Defence Department website. But after you changed the government, <sighs> Vanguard Corps, God, they need... It's so bent, the whole thing. The displays have come as close to 300 yards from the Russian border. Should be able to get them then from there. As US Army strikers participated in an Independence Day celebration in Narva, Estonia last month. Other recent actions include Air Force movements of, of uh, tank busters, attack jets. To an airbase in Germany, everybody's getting their troops in place. Poland can't wait. They're champing at the bit. And Cameron. Obviously Cameron. He'd love to do something for Obama. That horrible little public school boy, Cameron. Horrible little man. Now he, he was put in. He wasn't voted in. Anyway, I'm reading while I'm talking. Rambling, sorry. Ranting, sorry. Right. Tension with Russia extends to the air too. Says Admiral William Gultney, commander of the North Air American Aerospace Defense Command. He told the Senate Armed Services Committee on Thursday that this past year has marked a notable increase in Russian military assertiveness. I wonder why. Russian heavy bomber aircraft flew more patrols outside Russian airspace than in any year since the Cold War. Well, what happened? Let me think. Mm. You went into Ukraine and started to try and make a world war out of it. This is all wrong, you see. You are the perpetrators. You have done the wrong. And you're making out somebody else has. And you're also compounding it and compounding it by all of your bad mouthing and your patrols and your little bloody convoys through Europe. Stay out of my country, will you? Bloody annoying. <laughs>